in this video, we're going to talk about copying a sequence. A sequence is vital to your music production when you're using the MPC software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create one sequence and how to copy it and manipulate it so it can sound different. Check out this example right here. Alright, so in this video, we're going to create a sequence and we're going to copy a sequence. So I'm going to set my tempo. Let's say the uh, 138. I'm going to go four bars typical. Alright, so I'm going <coughs> to come up with a melody. It's a little bit off time, but we're going to keep this for an example. So that's sequence one. As you can see, it says sequence one. Now, how do I copy that? Well, first, go to sequence one, and you can hit copy. You can clear, erase, copy, do all that. So, so we'll hit copy, and the dialog box come up. It says... Copy contents of sequence one to where? See, you know, unused. This is an unused sequence. So you want to go right here and you want to name the new sequence. You don't want to name it sequence one because it, it'll confuse you. So what you want to do is just put the second sequence. The second. And we'll do it like that. And we'll hit do it. So, I'm not on sequence one no more. I'm on the second one because I know because I'm right here. So, what I can do is erase this sequence if I like. Oh, let me back, magnify this. So, we got sequence one right here. It's all the same. Six one, we can go to two, it's gonna sound just the same. Now that sounds cool, but you can also change the sound up, you know what I'm saying, to give your production or your beat some flavor. So I'm gonna go right here. Again. <clears throat> Choose something else. Let's go to Atmosphere again. <clears throat> now it's going to sound different. It's going to be the same MIDI events, but it's going to have a different sound. So let's get that going. And we can change it to something else. Okay, so now you can play with these. So now sequence one should have the piano. Then sequence two. That's how pretty much you do it. You go to, you click on the sequence, and you hit copy. And now, <clears throat> it should be two sequences here. Sequence one and sequence two. So I can do the same thing. You know, I can copy the contents of sequence one over 
to sequence three, which is unused. And you, like I say, you want to make sure you name these because it can get kind of confusing. Because if I go ahead and, and copy sequence one over to sequence three with the same name, it's going to get kind of confusing. So now it says, this is sequence three, but it says sequence one. Now the brain doesn't comprehend it that way. Sometimes you can get confused because you would think it's this. But in actuality, it's the third sequence. And how do I know that? Because the three is right there. So that's pretty much how you copy a sequence. And that's how you, and how you name a sequence. If you want to delete a sequence, you can just go right here. You know, let's go back to sequence two. And if you want to delete that, we can go ahead and delete the erase. You know, city erase, and it's gone. And we'll go over that dialog box again. Let's see, erase. And basically, it's just telling me I'm on sequence to start. I want to erase all the contents from one through four well you know one through five this is four bar so and you have the options to erase all you can do if it's automation you can erase the automation you can uh do all notes or you can do a set notes as it really depends and this gets to the where the tracks are so there's a lot you can do um when you're copying the sequence you can make your beats more complex more versatile so this is pretty much how you do it, you know. Rate, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Peace.